Well, folks, I'm just getting out on a lake today that I've never even been on. So I'm just gonna kind of live scope around here. There's a couple holes out here. I'm gonna go check over on them holes and see if there's any fish there and see what happens. Hopefully we can get into some crappies, bluegills, anything, panfish, just kind of popping around today. Here, this should be in line with the whole setup. As long as the fish don't spook, we'll be okay. Don't spook, fishies. Don't spook. Uh, let's go down. We're gonna go down to the bottom and up just a hair. I'm gonna dead stick it. And while it dead sticks, I'm gonna log into the Garmin and see if I can see if there's still fish here or not. <laughs> oh, wild. Cause it's still pointing, pointing right at us. Oh yeah, we're right on top of them. Can I see my jig from here? This is crazy. Okay, so we know there's fish all over us still, right? All right, I'm gonna drill a little closer and try to get on them big marks. The question is, is our day going to eat? Oh my goodness, look at me dropping into them. This is insane. If this works, this is just going to be dumb. I don't know, guys. Electrics, right? Oh, look at this one, look at this one coming, look at this one. Whacked him. Oh. My goodness. That did not just happen. What do we got? Oh, a slab. <laughs> Okay, so we got some slabs down there. This is just crazy. Watching them on my phone from the live scope over there. See you later, bud. We're doing things, and he's going right back down. Right back down. Let's do it again. How wild is that? Here we go. Oh, I rolled that one. Go back down, get ready for another hit. Get ready for him to smoke it. Come on, stay around. It's still here. There he is. Oh, that one hit it really good. Uh, about the same, maybe a little bit bigger. Yeah, about the same. So I'm on a mission to find giants today. Not giant giants, but hopefully bigger than these little guys. Come on, buddy, you can go. You're fine. Right. We got some big ones. Looks like some big ones below us. Oh my goodness, they're all over it. Oh my goodness. Oh. Biggest one yet? Yeah. Eh, about the same. Or not. And they don't like it. They disappeared just like that. So let's uh, keep moving. Played around with some little guys. Let's find the big ones. They're in here. We just got to find them. All right. So let's do that. Holy crap. Do that. I'm just gonna drop the big spoon down just to weed through these fish. I'm gonna try not to let the little ones hit. Big fish only. Oh, this one's coming in. Smoked me. Come on, be a better one. Be a better one. Hey, hey. that's a good fish. That is a good fish. They make them bigger than this, but to start, heck yeah. Of course, there I just dropped down into them, walked back to the sled. I was like, all right, they're here, let's drop down. Yeah, look at that thing. Jeez. Good one. 
Still not a 13 or nothing crazy crazy. I'm gonna keep a couple of these too and this guy uh, he's got an eyeball that's popping. Ooh, come back, come back. Here he comes, he's coming back. That one looks good, that might be a pike, but it might be a big, big crop too. Got him, he hit it. That's a good fish. This is the one, yeah, what do we got? Okay, it's not the one, but he's probably the biggest one yet. Same slab size as the others, again on the little hyper rattle. So, sweet chowing down they are. Gotta work for them for a second though. Maybe not. Dude, it's so like, I can't get a good, from looking at the graph to my, yeah. Okay, we need to go back to that other hole cause there's just a pile of fish over there now. And with crappie, usually you just want to keep pulling away, pulling away, pulling away until you get to that point where you see that fish lock up and it just doesn't want to come any further. Then you just drop back down maybe a foot or so. You don't want to drop down fast because you'll, you'll lose the fish. Like sometimes they don't know where you are when you go below them. So you always want to kind of, when you drop it back down, you kind of want to drop down slow. It's almost as slow as when you lift up. And if you get a fish that really locks up hard on you, you just want to work them up and down. Here we go, here we go. What's happening here? See, I went up a little further, and then a fish from, you know, five, six foot away is like, hey, what, what's going on over here? They can see that, you know? Got one. Oh, yeah. There we go. It's a decent one. Come on, big crappie. Eh. Keeper, keeper, but not a giant giant. There's one. And how I was just tap, 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 slowly jigging up, slowly jigging up. Another little guy, decent fish. Go back. You can't do that here. See you later, buddy. All right, there he goes. He's going back down. Almost like he's chasing the bait back down. But there he goes right back into the school, about that 20 foot mark. Another one coming up, here we go. These ones look big. These look bigger. These are the ones I'm after. Keeper size, right? And once you see that fish get super duper close, you can just slow it down just a tiny hair and just give it enough to keep it moving. But don't jig it, jig it, jig it. Because you got to think their mouth is only this big. And if you're jigging all crazy, they can't bite that. So you just want these little teeny, 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 tiny taps. Super, uber, duper, teeny, tiny. And with that being said, these fish kind of worked their way back to the other hole. So we're gonna go back to the main hole here. All right. Oh my gosh, I might've, might've turned them. So every dot you're seeing on the screen he just ate, is a fish. And that's the one I turned. I just had to slow it down for him for a quick second. Perfect. So, that is what we're after. Good eater size crappies. I'd like to catch a big old, big old giant just to show you some giants. But uh, I guess we'll get there when we get there. All right, so I just put on a brighter color, a uh, gold or copper color actually with a little chigger fry. So looks like there's some fish down below us are working their way in. Come on, fishies. Yeah, if I put my sunglasses on, I can't see the graph. Oh, look at this guy on the left. He sees it, he sees it. He's like, that looks good. 
Here he goes. Donk. Oh my goodness. Come back, come back, come back, come back. He's right there, he's right there. Oh. Here he comes. Here he comes. Donk. Okay then. Okay. Alrighty. Yeah. There we go. Slab. Choked it. All the way. Boop. That's what we're doing. Another one for the basket. Put them in the box. We have fish stacked to 16 foot. Let's see what happens. Holy cow. Holy cow. Let's do it. Drop down right onto that big one right away. Biggest one's right dead center. I'm gonna stop about a foot above them and see what happens. Right there, jig, 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 turn them. Friend behind them sees it for sure. Here we go. Oh, they don't like it. They don't like it. They are turning away. Oh, here he comes. Boonk. He lifted me up. All right. Boom. So, not a giant, but a keeper. Just like that. Nice little guy. Nice little guy. There I am saying that again. All right, let's do it again. Here we go. Come on, just eat. That one did. Yeah. All right, live scopes up. Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. Yes. Yeah. Look at that, another good, solid fish. Woo! Keeping dinner time in the city. Here he comes. Here he comes. All right, that's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah. Another good one. Oh my gosh, he just went right past it. He wasn't even he wasn't even going for it. Now he is. Got him. Oh yeah, this is a good one. Good one. Another solid fish. All right, well that's four that I got on the ice right here, so uh, sweet. One more, one more, let's just get five. Holy crap, oh, of course there's a good one right there. Oh my goodness. Holy cow. Holy cow. This is insane. Another one. Another one. A guy couldn't even keep up right now. See you later, buddy. That's a good one. Whacked him out of nowhere. Kind of just turned around and he was there. Another nice one. Oh, look at that giant mark. Huge mark at 20 feet. That might be a big pike. We'll see what happens if I can get down to him if he sees it. Oh my gosh. This is a good one. 
Jeez. This is fun. This is this is when fishing's fun. You can stack them up like that. You know you're gonna have a good dinner. You're just having a good time catching fish. Like this isn't even fishing anymore. This is this is catching. This is what catching looks like. Finally. <sighs> so pretty pretty awesome. Basically what I'm using here, this is just a 32 inch beaver dam noodle rod. I got on a little Acme uh, high density tungsten. It's a copper, hammered copper with a panfish plastic, chigger fry. And then I got a PC Fun Carbon X2 1000 on the reel there. Uh, if you guys are looking for reels, check out PC Fun. Use my discount code WF15. Definitely helps out the channel if you guys pick up some reels. But uh, yeah, that's pretty simple, simple jigging setup right there. And uh, you can see they're smashing this. Well, after a few hours of jigging, I say we found some fish. <laughs> I took probably yeah, 13 or 14 home with me today. We're gonna have a little fish fry. So hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you learned the key is just lifting up. Watch them crappie come up, come up, come up. And usually they just hammer it. So hope you guys learned a little something. Thanks for watching. Like always, we'll see you next time.